right, so we found out in the previous video that the MSPSS, the social support variable, is significantly negatively skewed. And we could tell that also looking at its histogram. That's some definite significant negative skewness. So this one we're going to have to reflect and then do a transformation on. Things that are negatively skewed can't just be transformed. We have to reflect it so it's positively skewed and then transform it because of what the math actually does. So let's go in and look at a transformation. That one looks significant enough. We'll probably need a log transformation, but we'll do both just to be certain. So let's hit a reset on that. We're going to look at MSPSS. We'll first start with R for reflected and SQ for square root transformation. So we are going to, again, pop under arithmetic pop up our square root transformation, and this time we're going to need to put in the highest score on that variable plus one. So we want a number that's equal to the highest score on that variable plus one, and then we're going to subtract the MSPSS variable from it. Well, let's go back. We didn't actually keep track of what that high score was. Let's see if we can get to it behind this screen. All right. So the maximum on the MSPSS we can see here is 7. So we're going to take 8 minus the MSPSS variable. So we'll come back in here. We want the square root of 8 minus the total score for MSPSS. Perfect. And we'll hit OK or paste, which is not a bad idea. I'm also going to do the same thing for a log version of it. Just so we will have both and we can test to see which one worked out better. All right, so let's go back in and run explore again. All right, so we've run explore again on both our MSPSS reflected and square root version and reflect and log version. We can see that on the square root version, our skewness dropped a bit to 0.658. Remember, initially it was negative one point something. So it's closer to zero um, and it is positive now, which we would expect because it was reflected. Um, but it's still not as low as we would like. But we can also see down here our reflected log 10 version is all the way down to 0.153. It's less than one uh, standard error. So that is the delightful version that we'll be using. So our final versions of data for this multiple regression will be the MSPSS reflected and log. We'll be using the original version of the NCW. We'll be using the log transformation of our PTSD score and we'll be using the square root transformation of our traumatic event scale. And for the most part, these are no longer meeting, um, no longer surpassing the uh, significance value for tests for normality. Most of these are within range. The PCLC is still a bit um, skewed and still having some troubles, but it's not too far out of bounds. All right, the last thing we want to do is check and make sure we don't have any univariate outliers on our transformed versions of our variables. Since we've transformed them, that might have helped some with any outliers, but we'll go ahead and check our final version. So we're going to go Analyze Descriptives Descriptives. We're going to save standardized values as variables, and we're going to find the versions of the variables that we're using. We're going to use that version, the TES square root version, the PCL log version, and the original version of NCW. We can go ahead and hit OK at this point. And what we really wanted from that was just the z-scores. So let's go grab those z-scores. So I'm going to run descriptives one more time just on the z-scores for those variables. All I want to check are the minimum and maximum values on that. So as we can see, for the most part, we don't have any um, outliers, but we might have one on the TES, but it's only a smidge over 3.29, so we'll probably leave it be for now.